Steel. What did you hear? Dr. Fillmore's report was quite thorough. The Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context, however, given their pension for hoarding technology. Future conflict with them is guaranteed. We are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. It also cannot go unnoticed that there were concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause, but by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. I'm proud of you, regardless. The Brotherhood is an issue for the future, and we must focus on the present. And look at me, rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once. Do you need more parts for the reactor? I could have gotten them while I was out. No, this is a different matter. Hopefully one that does not put anyone at risk. This situation, I'm afraid, is something of your creation, however unintentional. What do you mean by that? What's happened? Well, while you were assisting Dr. Fillmore, a second team was sent out to invite someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. Apparently, there was some miscommunication, and this individual called for help, which arrived in the form of your Minutemen. My understanding is that no shots have been fired. I would like it to stay that way. I need you to go there and speak to your Minutemen gathered outside. Insist that they stand down at once. Dr. Thompson is on site, and he will be your primary contact. I know you can resolve this situation, but it is of paramount importance that this special individual be brought to the Institute immediately. Why all this effort? What's so special about this person? Mr. Wallace, despite a lack of formal training, our surveillance has shown he has incredible intellect. With his help, we may be able to drastically speed up work on the reactor. What's going on here? You're an unexpected surprise. You could use the backup. These Institute bastards aren't getting away. They'll have to go through us to get out of there. We don't know quite what we're up against, but it's good you're here to help. Uh, how did you hear about this? Can you bring me up to speed on the situation? Commonwealth Citizen lives in that there observatory. Institute thugs showed up to haul him off, only he spotted them coming. He managed to fire off a flare gun, got our attention, and we got up here as quick as we could. Now they're trapped inside. So, how do you want to play this? We thought about trying to lure them out here, since it'd be easier to kill them. But then we realized we probably ought to storm the place to make sure they can't disappear on us. That makes sense, right? So, you want to lead the charge? No one is going to do anything. Tell your men to stand down. I don't... Are you kidding me? If we don't do something now, they're going to take that poor guy wherever it is they go, and we'll have failed. 
again. Are you gonna order the attack or not? I'm giving you an order, soldier. Maybe you don't understand. This ain't the military, and I don't have to take orders from you. What are you so against this? You do know which side you're on, don't you? You don't have all the information. I do. And I'm telling you, this isn't what it looks like. That man's not in danger. You better be right. If you're not, that man's life is on your head. I'll have my men stand down. But you'd better get in there and make sure you're right. you're here. I was starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. How exactly did this happen? I'm not suited for field work. I've said that over and over, and they sent me anyway. There was no indication that Wallace had been in contact with anyone or was aware that we might be watching him. If I'd known, I'd... I don't know. Maybe I'd have tried to handle things differently. I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. Why did the Institute send you specifically? They thought I'd be able to relate to him with my scientific background. Seems like another miscalculation to me. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was Institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. What does this Wallace guy have to do with Phase 3? Wallace is, well, brilliant by all accounts. Like nothing we'd seen in the Commonwealth prior. He truly has a gift when it comes to theoretical physics. He'd be an asset to the Institute, specifically in getting the reactor running. With his help, we could accelerate the timetable immensely. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking, maybe you could try and talk to him. <sighs> Any advice on how to talk to him? Don't make him angry. Let him know we're not going to hurt him. In fact, his life would improve considerably. Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? Sir, are you okay? Have you been injured in any way? I'm locked in a bathroom to avoid killer robots. Of course I'm not okay! I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. Hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. <sighs> fine, fine. What do you want from me? Mr. Wallace, would you be willing to help the Institute? Help the Institute? But aren't, aren't they, you, I'm, I'm the bad guys? The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else.
You have a better option than what we're offering you? No. No, I guess I don't. Okay, fine. I'll go. I'm looking forward to working for you, future director. Ah, <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean, thanks for the assist. You're gonna bring him in immediately, right? Oh, yeah. Don't want him to start second-guessing the decision. I'll see you back in the Institute.